Charlie Hall, senior reporter for Polygon, woke up yesterday morning and thought to himself, self, who should I f*** with today? The winner was, of course, War Horse Studios, makers of Kingdom Come Deliverance, and Charlie Hall decided this would be a wonderful headline. The headline was, Kingdom Come Deliverance team will not commit to Kickstarter stretch goals. Sounds terrible, sounds ominous. This is very bad. How can they make promises to us and then not deliver? Now, you know, I, I don't envy Charlie Hall. He's got a tough job. He needs to wake up every morning and think about what to write to bring clicks to Polygon. And they can see exactly how much traffic is coming in from what he's writing. And he learned this lesson a long time ago. Ask any of the star season backers about the type of content he puts out. <laughs> and uh, as we all know, simply writing something like Kingdom Come Deliverance, everything is A-OK, -okay, will not get your hits. But when you write something like this, something despicable, that the team, the Kickstarter, the Kickstarter promises are not going to be met. Yeah, that's bad. Except for the fact that if Charlie Hall bothered to read a bit more, he would see how wrong he was. But let's go back a little bit. First of all, there were a bunch of stretch goals which were mentioned. Uh, for example, a playable female character. Really? I can see why some people would like that. But, you know, there's some um, bound chicka wow wow in there and... Would that make her a lesbian character then? Not that I'm complaining. But will they have to re-script that to be... Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, in-game combat academy uh, and tournament mode. And apparently there was also a promise of a dog companion, as we see right here. So, Charlie Hall wants to know, where is this? Why is this not coming? Has War Horse Studios lied to you? You should be outrage except if you bothered reading and as a journalist you'd expect charlie hall to do this to research things this comment back here on february 28th asking about the stretch goals first response daniel vavra himself saying documentary and combat academy are in progress dark companion and other stuff too will most likely come in the form of a free future dlc for backers as we already said last year. Okay, so obviously someone must have tweeted this to Charlie, who then, rightfully so, corrected. So the headline being, Kingdom Come Deliverance team will not commit to Kickstarter stretch goals, magically changed to, Kingdom Come Deliverance says, stretch goals DLC is coming. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie Hall, for correcting that. You know what? Everyone makes mistakes. But uh, honestly, this going on witch hunts every day, trying to find the bad things, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired of that. But you know what? I still say Charlie Hall is fair. And he did. As soon as he got the information, he updated it and changed the headline to reflect that. And he did indeed quote that. Here we go. I don't even know what to say about, uh, about this. Dear at Polygon at Charlie Hall, we said a year ago, Dog Companion and the female character quests are going to be delivered as, oh, the female character is going to be a new quest. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not an early backer of the game, but I will definitely get that DLC, even have to pay for it, because the War Horse deserves every cent of that money. And other stuff, this is all true. All right, so Varva himself responding and everything is fine. So thank you, Charlie Hall, for updating that story. Now, patch 1.3 is out. You want to go over some patch notes? Let's do this. I know I've been waiting for this because I said in my previous video that I was actually stuck on the one ginger mission, which I'm glad to say I did get through and everything's going along great. I did go to the the church there and you party. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but you do party with uh, this one guy and the night goes a bit crazy. That was, a, what a great moment in gaming history that is. I think the story was so well told. I enjoyed every second of that. But uh, let's take a look at what's in patch 1.3. The game now has, a, uh, this is by Doobie Running, who posted in the Kingdom Come subreddit. And uh, the game now has a save and exit feature. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that one, because I was kind of enjoying having to found, find a bed or drinking the schnapps to save. I guess too many people complained that it was m probably not working out as well as they wanted, but uh, okay, that is a useful feature. I think it does take away a bit from the game experience. 
Uh, performance issues, level of detail, stuttering reduced, improved lock picking. Uh, I didn't have a problem with lock picking, although I'm not really advanced in my lock picking. I'm not having too many issues with it. Uh, new interface makes it easier to hold the sweet spot. I think this is most for people on consoles. Improved pickpocketing. I haven't gotten there yet. You no longer get caught if you stop in the beginning of a mini game. Okay, that's probably good. Alchemy, I haven't gotten there yet. I don't know about that. Guards won't frisk you. That's probably good. Your horse won't get stuck jumping fences. Yes, I just experienced that yesterday for the first time. And boy, was that irritating for me. Okay, I'm glad that's done. Horse items are cleaned with player bathhouses. Good. You can see when looking at your bed whether it will save your game. Okay, useful. You can sleep on beds without having to sit down. Okay, quality of life thing. Not too much of a big deal. But I can see that being good. Uh, you guys can look through the rest of this. I'll give you the link below. Also worth noting is that... Uh, the current patch is 5.7 gigs. It is on Steam right now. If you have the Steam client, it is uploading. And they are working on patch 1.4, which will improve performance on PCs. Great. All right. Nothing but good things to say about this so far. Patches incoming. Everything is looking great. Thank you very much, Warhorse. Thank you very much, Charlie Hall, for updating your story. Guys, give me your comments. How are you enjoying the game so far? Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.